let's talk about the Demon Slayer quest, in which the main reward for completing is the Silverlight Sword and 3 quest points. There are no quest or skill requirements, but level 15 combat is recommended. In terms of items, you'll need 1 coin and 25 unnoted bones. Also, if you're low leveled, then bringing a few pieces of cooked food for the boss fight late in the quest can be helpful for dealing with some level 7 and level 20 dark wizards. While not essential, if you have them, then I recommend a teleport to Varrock, and for members, you will want a teleport to the wizard's tower via a necklace of passage. Also ensure that you have one free inventory space at the start of the quest, and so if you you're using a necklace of passage for teleports, then pop that dazzling piece of jewellery on. To begin the quest, go to Varrock Square, and in the southwestern corner inside a tent, you'll want to speak to Aris. Then select yes to start the quest, handing her one coin in the process. Space bar through the dialogue before saying, okay, where is he? I'll kill him for you. And then asking, so how did Wally kill Delrith? A cutscene will occur where you will see Wally kill the demon Delrith before saying the incantation. And you will need to take your time here and write down the order that he says the incantation in the quest. It's a string of five words that you'll want to jot down on a piece of paper, as this changes from player to player. Now after the cutscene, ask Aris, where can I find Silverlight? and she will tell you that Sir Prison has it. Now run north into Varrock Castle and into the room straight to the left of the entrance. Talk to Sir Prison and tell him, Ara said I should come and talk to you, before then adding, I need to find Silverlight, and then he's back and unfortunately I've got to deal with him. Then tell him to give you the keys, before adding, can you give me your key? Now run north in the castle to the northwestern corner room and climb up two flights of stairs before talking to Captain Roven. Tell him this is important, before saying, there's a demon who wants to invade the city, and adding, yes, very. Then say, it's not them who are going to fight the demon, it's me and tell him, Sir Prison said you'd give me the key. Finally ask, why did he give you one of the keys then? After a bit more dialogue, he will hand you a key. Now head down two flights of stairs before traveling to the kitchen located in the northeastern corner of the palace. Go up the stairs in the room and take the bucket in the room directly to your east, then go back downstairs and use it on the sink to fill it with water. Now use the bucket of water on the drain that's just outside the kitchen to release the key into the sewer. Now run south through the castle and out the front of it, before running out the eastern side and climbing down the manhole. Run through the northwestern path and at the end of the stream will be an old rusty key. Take it, and congrats on your second key. Now make your way to the wizard's tower south of Draenor, and head up one flight of stairs before talking to wizard Triborn in the northeastern room. Talk to him about Demon Slayer, before asking if he has any keys knocking around. Then tell him that you'll get the bones for him. Talk to him again and you'll hand him the 25 bones in your inventory, and he will then hand you the third key. Now teleport to Varrock and make your way back to Sir Prism. Talk to him and you'll trade your three keys for the Silverlight Sword. Now you're going to want to head to a bank and prepare for your fight with Delrith. It's pretty easy to pop into Varrock East or West Bank to do this. Now you'll need Silverlight to significantly weaken Delrith and a weapon of choice for potentially dealing with the Dark Wizards. I also highly suggest bringing food along, particularly for lower levels. Now head south of Varrock to the Dark Wizard Circle. And as you get close, you'll experience an instance where the almighty demon Delbruth will be summoned. After he's brought to life, you'll then be left in a single way combat zone with him and a couple of other dark wizards. In an ideal world, you'll attack Delbruth before any of the dark wizards attack you, but that doesn't always happen, so be prepared to take some of them down. When fighting Delrith, be sure to have Silverlight equipped, and he should go down pretty easily. Once his hit points are at zero, you will then need to select the correct incantation to finish him off. And this is the incantation order that you saw in the initial cutscene at the beginning of the quest that you hopefully jotted down. Select each of the five incantations in the correct order to officially defeat Delrith. And bam, quest complete. For your efforts, you'll be awarded the Silverlight Sword and three quest points. Now stay tuned for a quick storyline recap. Aris looks into the future and freaks out because Demon Delgrith is about to be awoken. But you're not stressed, you're hot and you like danger, and you tell her that you will take care of it. But to do so, you're going to need the Silverlight Sword. 
It's been locked away with three keys needed to open it and each lies with a different person. Because he's hopeless, Sir Prison dropped his key down a drain but you flush it into the sewer before retrieving it. You convince Captain Roven to hand you his key and finally you give Wizard Triborn many, many bones which lets him perform a ritual to get the third key for you. You then come face to face with Delreth and the Dark Wizards. They kind of sound like a rock band. Needless to say, with Silverlight in hand, you slay Delreth with the same enthusiasm I have slaying a slice of cake. Congrats, you're a hero. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next quest.